turnaround. You know where we got to start. We got to start on the play. <laughs> Game five. That steal and then your assist to Giannis for that oop. Where does that rank in terms of the best plays of your career? I mean, at this point, I guess it's number one. Uh, it was a really big moment. It was a really crucial time. And... I mean, it was a pretty good play. Honestly, I, I feel like I didn't really make the play. Tuck played awesome defense. Book turned it to me, so I grabbed the ball. And then Giannis made the play. I just threw it up. It felt really good to quiet that crowd. And after Giannis dunked it, scream, and virtually it was over. So when you're watching back the film then of, of the oop and the dunk, did you see Giannis' stare down after? Oh, yeah, that was uh, that was intense. That's what I love to see. That's what you're going to do in the morning, you know, when you get out of bed, just... <laughs> No, nah, I'll I, nah, I probably scream. I think I scream. He stared down, I scream. Booker comes for the ball, fires a three. Bang! Devin Booker from downtown! What is it like to guard a guy like Devin Booker? It's a challenge. He can score from everywhere. He can score in a variety of ways, and slowing him down is a challenge, but it's also fun to witness, like the offensive performances that he's putting on in the finals and how he's just kind of putting his team on his shoulders. In what ways does that challenge you to be better? I don't want him to win. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want him to win. I don't want him to score. Last game, they they run a play, and Devin Booker came off a, like a down screen for a three, and I was right there, and like on the contest, it was like this, and and I touched his hand, and he made it, and I'm like, there's nothing better I could have done defensively. Things like that, I'm like, like damn, but at the same time, I'm like, that's a hell of a shot. So it's been fun. The Milwaukee Bucks are one win away from their first title in 50 years. You said it's no excuses. How do you embody that mindset heading into this game? Honestly, leaving it all out there. Playing as smart as you can, playing as hard as you can, playing for your teammates, the person right next to you, that's the reason why we're here. Nobody did it by themselves. I think to be able to, to embody what you said is play for your teammates, play for the person next to you.